Welcome to another virtual tasting on the Golden Mile Bench. I'm Mark. And I'm Rebecca. And today we are tasting our 2020 Tiamo Prosecco style wine. So we've got uh, the brand new edition, brand new label, brand new harvest. Um, we'll tell you all about how this wine is made. We're pretty excited about this one, um, as we are all our wines. Now this, when you open, we get a lot of questions about how do you open sparkling, mm -hmm. and it can be a little intimidating. It does not need to be. It's really quite simple. So um, take, take off the top part, the foil. The one thing I would say um, is maybe keep a little pressure on the top when you take the cage off. So the uh, wire hood, so you're down to here, okay? Um, this is under about 45 PSI, 45 pounds per square inch. So I usually put my, whole, my hand on there a little bit, just open this up. Uh, what you don't want is you don't want the cork to go flying off. So what I would suggest is take firm grip of the cork, just twist the bottle like so, like that, okay? Salud. I mean, maybe we should talk about how this wine is made. So you can notice there's really small bubbles and that's good. That's what we want. We want small, small bubbles, uh, less fining, usually better quality of bubbles. We ferment this in tank. So that's the big difference. Maybe we should talk about the Charmat yeah. method. Yeah, so this is a Charmat method. So what that means is that the secondary fermentation happens in a pressurized tank. Um, so it'll stay in tank for about six weeks um, and the fermentation will happen in the tank under pressure and that's what creates all of the bubbles. Yeah, and it, so keep that in mind. That's the difference between that and a, a traditional sparkling wine. It's actually in the bottle. So the nice thing about this, we, we filter it cold once it's finished ferment. Now this is not a bone dry wine. So no. if, if you're thinking this is gonna be very, very dry, it's not, it's an off dry. So it's it's got a nice mix, we believe, of residual mm -hmm. and, and, and fruit. It's, yeah. um, Which makes it very approachable and it really enhances the fruit characteristics. And so the grapes we choose for this are primarily, it's got a lot of Pinot Gris in it. It's got some Gewürztraminer and some Semillon and a splash of a couple other varietals in small, small percentages. But basically we're just trying to be a fruit forward wine, mm -hmm. uh, something nice to drink on a, on a warm summer patio or spring day in the Okanagan, the lower mainland, wherever you happen to be. Where would you go in the kitchen? Where would you, where would you pair this with? So because this wine is such a light fruit forward style wine, for me, it's more of a beginning wine. So as I'm cooking, the very first thing I'm drinking um, would be more of a Prosecco bubble style. So sure. for me, it goes great with appetizers, um, salads, any sort of that like light fare um, that you would have sort of as you're getting into your meal. Um, but it's also really nice on its own and it's more pairing with an occasion. So mm -hmm. Bubbles is always a celebratory wine, so anything that you're celebrating in life, our Tiamo will go really great with it. That's well said. Salud. Cheers.